Welcome to a tale of two programmers. One is stuck in an infinite loop of frustration, the other is collecting job offers like Pokemon cards. Meet TensorFlow, Timmy, and PyTorch Peter. If I can just memorize this 10th variation of Tuesome, Amazon will have to hire me. Timmy has grinded hundreds of leak code questions, he can binary search with his eyes closed, but his resume is stale. No projects, no impact. I just deployed a vision model that classifies plant diseases for rural farmers, saved them 40% in crop losses. PyTorch Peter hasn't touched the code. Instead, he shipped a fine-tuned Llama 3 that handles 7,000 support tickets per week. He collaborated, he merged pull requests on Hugging Faces models, and he documented he wrote really clear readmes, so clear that even non-technical recruiters talk about them. Now Peter's calendar is full of recruiter DMs, podcast invites, and weekend surf trips. Meanwhile, Timmy's still memorizing how to reverse a linked list. Bro, you're solving puzzles that'll never exist in production. Come build something that matters. If we haven't met yet, my name's Dev, and when I was in school, I landed internships at places like Amazon that paid over $80 an hour. And the day I graduated, I landed new grad offers paying over $240,000 a year. But more importantly, I've helped thousands of students land their dream internship and job in AI engineering through our Accelerator, which is linked in the description. I myself spent years as TensorFlow Timmy grinding leak code in the library till 2 in the morning. I thought the secret was leak code. Spoiler alert, recruiters don't care. My inbox was drier than the Sahara Desert until I shifted my focus to building real projects. Look, there are tons of YouTube videos on whether you should grind leak code or build projects. Yet none of them really answer the question, right? They all say, it depends, or do both. Today, we're taking a firm stance. I'm going as far as to say that LeetCode is a horrible return on investment for aspiring AI engineers. I know that's bold, but by the end of the video, you'll see why. Think of pure LeetCode grinding as chugging energy drinks. You might get a quick buzz, but in the long run, it's not really good for you. Sure, LeetCode does train your raw problem-solving reflexes, but in reality, A, most people are just memorizing and regurgitating, not actually creating creating anything new, and production code on the job is rarely going to have the same patterns. B, there's no domain context, because real AI engineering projects weave in data pre-processing, evaluation metrics, deployment constraints, and of course user feedback, none of which leak code has. And C, it's the opposite of standing out, everyone is grinding leak code. When 50,000 graduates list their leak code accomplishments, think about it, is it going to stand out? It's impossible to differentiate yourself. In fact, engineering managers at Stripe, a leading big tech company, have literally come out and said that they want engineers that can ship and build real features. They don't want leak code monkeys. But Dev, some companies still ask leak code in interviews. And that's true. Some still do. So a month before your interview, you should brush up. But grinding leak code for months on end? Hell no. Besides, interview culture is shifting. At countless AI startups, recruiting Recruiters will send you a take-home assignment where you have to build a real feature. It's the truth. Projects trump puzzles. Because this is what hiring managers actually want. Listen closely, I'm going to pull back the curtain. First, they want to see proof of impact. Show that your recommender improves suggestions by up to 10%. Second, they want to see ownership. End-to-end -end delivery of your project is going to show a lot more than 10-line leak code solutions. And third, they want to see communication, clear read me's maybe even a demo video for your project. But notice something missing? Solved 200 leak code questions wasn't on that list. The moral of the story here is that projects create interviews, they create opportunities for you, and a sprinkle of leak code helps you seal the deal. And in case you're curious, here are a few project ideas that absolutely obliterate leak code. This table has a fine-tuning project, a rag project, a paper implementation. Notice how every idea, one, solves a tangible pain point, Two, generates data for some kind of impactful metric. And three, looks great on your public profile. If there's one thing you take away from this video, it's that projects trump leak code. Most YouTubers are afraid to say that. They're so sensitive. They keep saying, oh, it depends. But I'll always keep it real with you. And if you're ready to craft a portfolio that gets you high paying offers, check out LLM Liftoff at the link in the description. Inside our program, we hand you the step-by-step -step blueprints, templates, 
checklists so that you can get the offers you deserve. It's a very special kind of program, and we even have a money-back guarantee for anyone that's not satisfied. Click the link in the description to learn more. And if you need some more proof first, check out the video popping up on the screen right now. It's probably the most valuable video I have on the entire channel. In the video, I go over the three-step invisible hiring funnel that our students are using to get high-paying offers. Check out the video, and I'll see you soon.